All right, gather round. It's uh, fireside storytelling time. I have a tale from 2009. It's actually about Tiny URL. Um, Tiny URL was a company that essentially created link shortening. It was uh, created back in 2002. And Tiny URL was created by a person called Kevin Gilbertson. According to Wired, Kevin Gilbertson rides unicycles. I also ride unicycles. And this is an interesting tale about reliability um, and signal points of failure um, and how to do incident response. So meanwhile, me and Kevin are unicycling around uh, India. We've, we've done a few countries together, actually. Um, it's on Wikipedia if you want to dig deeper. But anyway, so we're on this, on this multi-week tour, cycling around India, the hills of India, going through the tea fields, having the time of our life. Now remember, Tiny Earl was created in 2002. Like, and this happened in 2009. He'd been basically running this thing as himself, as a solo person, a solo founder of, of the business. And um, he hadn't really had a break. So he's like, hey, yeah, let's... Let's go unicycling. Let's get a whole bunch of eccentric nerds together and let's go for another adventure. So he's the first long awaited break um, after being full time, 24 seven on call, solo bootstrapping up his business. And we're cycling through the mountains. And after all, this was the, the exact moment, right? There's not much internet in India, like especially back in 2009, mobile coverage was very spotty. And uh, we're cycling through the mountains and uh, we come up to our final rest day like of that and we're just, oh, relaxing. And there's mobile coverage. Well, as it does when you've been out of mobile coverage for a long time, your phone starts lighting up if there's a problem. Pages start coming in, uh, left, right, center. Like the worst possible thing that could ever happen to a solo bootstrap founder happened. Twitter is offline. Twitter uses or did use tiny URL for its link shortening back in 2009. And this is the tale of why this Wikipedia entry exists. So his uh, mobile phone's lighting up. Um, Twitter.com's offline, tiny URL is offline. Tiny URL took Twitter offline. And this is 2009. Twitter was a big thing in 2009. <laughs> and we're just like, oh crap, oh crap. Uh, we need to get internet, right? We need to get internet. So we scramble, we scramble. And we didn't really, we don't speak Hindi. Um, and like we've just English, which I was like, we need to get internet to the hotel. The hotel's like, internet would be found in Malbazar. Malbazar? Where the heck is Malbazar? Like we just, we need a laptop right now and internet. No, there's no internet. We've, we've, we've got to take a bus. So we both get on a bus <laughs> from, from, the, from, from our hotel to a local village, minimal Google maps. No, like just really raw dogging through India on a bus, trying to get to Malbazar to get to the sacred land of the internets. The sacred land of the internets, Malbazar. We get to Malbazar and uh, walking up and down the streets and we finally find a cafe. We're like, internet, where's the internet cafe? Um, and most people don't understand what we're trying to get to, but eventually we found an internet cafe. So we get into the internet cafe and the, the problem is there's not many terminals and there's actually only one terminal in this internet cafe and it had a problem. A teenager looking at porn. We're trying to explain that twitter.com is offline the teenager just wants to look at porn. <laughs> Twitter's offline, and this this team just looking at porn in public in, in the cafe. And we're like, oh damn, <laughs> we're gonna fix this. So we went back onto the streets, and we finally found a new internet cafe. And this was the moment when we were able to restore service to uh, Tiny URL. So Kev uh, dug into it. Um, dug into uh, why Tiny Roll went offline and why Twitter took it offline. And 
that was the router that uh, that the holy router that we, we we spent like an hour traveling up and down trying to find a router to get us on the internet so we could fix tiny url and this is the moments after incident resolution just smiling um but it wasn't all smiles it wasn't all smiles because of the seriousness of the ins of the incident twitter could be taken offline by tiny url realizing that's essentially a solo bootstrap person switched over to bitly this is why they switched to bitly and whilst things are going well for kevin and i've recovered etc but that's how they lost twitter as a major client was we were unicycling through the mountains of india single point of contact uh, for failure um and it's really sad because the root cause of why this actually even happened would you believe the MySQL database had table exhaustion. That's all it was. It needed a table expansion. It ran out of space in the database. And when it ran out of space, Tiny Roll went offline and Twitter went offline. So this is a fireside story time uh, of tales from reliability and uh, the business impacts it can have um, and also designing around single points of contact and failures and the importance of it because it can have real material impacts. Um, losing a client such as Twitter really sucks, especially if you're solo bootstrap founder. Anyway, until next time.